cocksucker residence? God damn you, stop calling here. Hey look, he so phony. So I only call him when I'm horny. He only answer when he want me. He always answers for me. What the fuck you mean? But I'm ready for the real thing. And he don't want nothing. I guess I'm just blowing off steam. It's either my way or the highway. Sucker niggas go away while rich niggas gravitate. The gravity of this depravity is sending me. I need a rub pre, maybe some therapy. How about some chemistry? I'm trying to be a better me. Hercules and Athena, why you clapping your cheeks up? Munching my sheets up and turning up your speakers. I got your baby daddy blowing out my tweeters. Cause he, the Billy Ray, to my Aretha. The only boy who could ever reach her was a son of a preacher. I got that nigga kissing on this pussy while I'm blinding with Deucey. Now I'm drunk and feeling loosey goosey and he playing with this pussy. Like I said, that nigga's so phony. So I only call him when I'm lonely. He only answer when he want me. He always answers for me. What the fuck do you mean? But I'm ready for the real thing and he don't want nothing. I guess I'm just blowing off steam. It's either my way or the highway. Sucker niggas go away while rich niggas gravitate. The gravity of this depravity is sending me. I need a rub freeze, maybe some therapy. How about some chemistry? I wanna be a better man, most definitely. Baby girl is a motherfucking problem. Cause I can take your nigga no problem. Cocky golden hoe, that's my only fucking problem. Shake your derriere in those Darion jeans. Ass so fat, they split up the seam. Ass so fat, make your bitch switch teams. Ass so fat, got you running through my dreams. dedicated to guiding those in search of meaning truth and light baby and I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys this brief talk uh, as you guys heard from the intro how do you know if God is talking to you and what is he saying and I don't fuck with niggas, okay? Okay. Um, so yes so I am very attracted to women I do uh, for all intents and purposes date women we go out on dates we go out on trips we do things like that but at the same time I've never had sex with a woman because I'm not necessarily um, I'm not necessarily open at this point to being judged for that particular preference who's going to judge me i don't know uh so really this is one of those internal battles that i fight within my own self as you guys can see um so what is my preference what is my sexual preference at this point i don't know if i should call it a sexual preference as much as i want to call it like a romantic preference romantically love wise uh sharing my energy wise i do prefer to spend time with women I'm not one to really want to spend time with men unless they're cool, unless they're chill, unless they're trying to like just kick it and laugh and, and order some movies and eat popcorn and things like that. Like I'm not really the one to want to be highly sexual with men because I think that men are very impatient. I think that men that are impatient can also be very pushy. And I think that that really blurs the line between consent. And I think that men being in their position of power, being stronger, bigger, all that than a woman... I think that they use that power against them. And so all these men that think that they're getting bitches, are you really? Are you really? Or are you really placing women in a situation to where they feel like they can't tell you no? I remember it being like in grade school like super duper grade school and I remember feeling like oh this is going to be a safer situation to be in because men are hella erratic or really also thinking about how much safer women are my mom was very soft very gentle very caring um very much so a loving loving woman she also suffered from her own sexual trauma and so she had a lot of female friends that were always around her and i used to really admire her female relationships because it seemed like they really did love each other she had women that loved her and so when i think about it i, I enjoyed that aspect of female relationships and that to me has always been safer than trying to like have sexual relationships because men it's always something to do with sex with a man and who needs that there's not that much fucking in the world and I just you know, 
I'm angry about the fact that men are so deceitful in their pursuit of pussy. Do I think it's wrong to dabble in sexual relationships with women or same-sex relationships? Um, I think if you're going to dabble in fornication, I mean, you can't just say, like, no sin is greater than the next. So if you're fornicating with a man, it's not going to be double as sinful because you're dating and fornicating with a woman, honestly. Uh, and when you think about the act of fornication, I believe that it's only sinful when you are dating a person that is not equally yoked. Like, are you matching yourself up purposely with a person who needs you for whatever this sexual rendezvous is going to give to them. Some of them need a place to stay. Some of them need a ride somewhere. Some of them are hobosexuals and they are trying to get something out of you because they can't provide for themselves. And so they're in effect a sex worker. And I do feel like when you date men that, that are sex workers, I do believe that that is a detriment to your own energy because you've given them something that they can't give themselves. And that I do believe is sinful because you're not, you are sacrificing a part of yourself to, to serve a carnal need. Because at the end of the day, the Bible states specifically, and I want to say the book of Genesis, where sex has been placed as a construct of comfort for human beings. God placed it there so that you would feel comfortable with your mate. And um, so I do believe that sexual relationships in that way are that way are, are perfectly fine if you guys are both bringing yourselves comfort you're having sex with this person because you want to there's nothing wrong with that but once again if you are unequally yoked with the person that you're trying to be with for example once again i always talk about the story in the bible because i love it but david kidnapped bathsheba he raped her he got her pregnant he ended up uh, sabotaging her actual husband Uriah the Hittite so that he would be murdered in battle so that he could take his girl and never be found out to be this this deviant terrible friend and so in a situation like that when the roles are so um, reversed and so out of proportion I do feel like feel like that's a sinful sexual relationship but also at the same time like Again, I'm telling you guys that I have desire for women. I have desire to bring women into my life, but I've never actually had a sexual relationship with a woman. So to, to deflect and come back or to stop deflecting and come back to what I was really trying to say. Um, and I'm asking myself in my own mind as I'm talking to you guys, do I really think it's sinful to have a same sex relationship with a woman that I don't know, wants to give up this kitty cat to a girl like me. I don't know because I've never actually had a same-sex relationship with a woman in a sexual way. So, but do I think it's wrong? Why have, you know what? I don't know if I think it's wrong as much as I feel like it's just anatomically incorrect. I don't, here's the thing. I enjoy women in the sense that I love the way that they look. I love their energy. I love being with them, but I don't really desire their anatomy in terms of like sex. Is that weird? Or do I? I don't know. I don't know because I've always thought in my own head that I would be condemned for look at this is god trying to tell me something this video was about whether or not i you know again how do you know if god is talking to you uh and i know like the glaringly obvious signs that god is talking to me right like i just told you guys about those but in this particular instance i'm questioning a very existential part of myself and my own human development because i do want to know girl is you gay if you gay then that makes sense as to why your relationships have not worked out but also at the same time how do you move forward in your authenticity as a homosexual like i used to actually identify as a male i used to use male pronouns if somebody wanted to sell me some jewelry sell me the man's ring sell me the man's cuban link sell me the man's Patek. Like, I don't want these dainty, womanly, womanly things because I've always wanted to make myself seem bigger. Because when you are small and you're pretty and you're petite and you got a fat ass and pretty skin and all that, when you are that person, 
it makes you more prone to being like harassed sexually by people because they feel like they can get away with it that type of energy and so when I think about that I have to ask myself like am I really it's two questions I have for my own self am I really deflecting away from men because I don't feel safe with black men or am I really authentically attracted to women or is my mother wound leaking out into me and making me think that I want to engage with women but even when I do engage with them I don't really want to I really just like the company of women but I don't desire them in a sexual way I guess I don't know I'm, I now I have to think about that and I wonder in my own heart in my own self how does that work out for me for my future romantically like how will this question of baby is you gay how is that going to work out for me romantically moving forward because baby is you gay and if you are if you are gay how are you going to fully explore this gayness how are you going to enjoy your homosexuality how are you going to embrace your sexuality that's a real question and I don't know I will keep y'all posted if I if I happen to eat some pussy I will let you guys know what it tastes like I won't because I don't kiss and tell or maybe I do because I show one ham on these niggas but baby are you a lesbiana lesbianas is you a lesbiana and if you are is that sexy do you want to do you want that to be sexy or do you just want to like live in your authenticity so how do you know god is talking to you you begin to pose questions about your own self yeah maybe you maybe you're not going to hear a voice in your head that says ebony ask yourself if you're gay you're just going to start to look at people you're going to go to the renaissance fucking world tour and your pussy going to get wet and you're going to wonder why beyonce is doing that to you and then you're going to say to yourself and ask yourself am i gay and then you got to answer that question honestly and if it's honestly that you don't know then how will you figure it out the only way to figure that out is to shoot your shot at the next one that's in your same caliber all that and if you are then you are and if you're not then maybe y'all end up being besties and that's all you really can do whoa that was a whole word i mean i hope that you guys enjoyed that because i sure did i really felt very open and honest about my feelings and my emotions and i really hope that you guys can get open and honest about your own feelings and your own emotions because can't nobody judge you with god and if you are a part of god made in his own image then sometimes you can be your own worst critic and you can judge yourself very harshly so stop judging yourself very harshly ask yourself if you like a little pussy if you don't know go taste it if you don't like it then move on to the next one and stop being so hard on yourself about something that you really can't control because you really can't control what you want who you want all you can control is the idea that your karma is simply balanced and that you can learn what you need to learn by following what it is that god wants you to explore about your own self peace